Welcome back to our Hispanic Heritage Special. As Sioux Falls keeps growing and expanding its diversity, we're taking a look at the city through the eyes of two local Hispanic business owners. The Alpha Barbershop opened in January of this year. It's been pretty good. It's trial by fire, you know, all the stuff going on and um, construction as well. Uh -huh. So it's been a quite colorful year. It's not his family's only involvement in Sioux Falls business. His father owns the restaurant Puerto Vallarta on East 10th. COVID-19 is a challenge for Luis as a business owner right now, but it's not the only challenge. And my con the construction in front of my place now. He says his customers are diverse. I mean, I, I get a lot of Hispanics myself because I'm bilingual. Not very, I mean, my Spanish is, has an English accent, but it is what it is. I was born and raised in the United States, so. Located just a short distance away from Gutierrez's twirling barber sign on 41st Street is the restaurant Inca. Julio Espino opened it way back in August 1997 and eventually sold it to his sister and brother-in-law in 2010. Espino started his Inca salsa business a few years after opening the restaurant, and he estimates that it's now sold in more than 200 stores. It's really been a great, successful business. The company is based in Sioux Falls, and the salsa is made in two other South Dakota communities, Paquana and T. Espino says Inca salsa could expand further. He's got a big potential to grow, because uh, I'm working with other big chains right now. I don't want to say yet, because I don't, I don't have those contracts yet. We've profiled his salsa before. This story is from November 2014. One of, the, one of the main things about salsa is the quality, it's the quality of the product. He's been visiting family in Mexico, so I caught up with him on Zoom, where he talked about the Sioux Falls Hispanic community's growth. It has grown, I mean, in, the, uh, in all the ways around, such as like not only restaurants or food establishment, but uh, nowadays you find insurance companies, you find construction companies, you name it, it's, it has grown all the way around in the Hispanic community. And he's felt welcomed. I have been, uh, how to say, embraced by the community, by the town, by the state. It's a similar story at the barbershop. Do you think Sioux Falls is a good community for you to have this business? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that? It's growing, it's growing, you know, it's very, very open. A lot of people are very accepting. And, you know, you're nice to people, they're nice to you. They didn't recognize the language or any familiar faces. All they knew was that their mom was on a mission to provide them with a better life. Lydia Vasquez from our sister station, Sioux City, introduces us to two sisters, each running their own business. Veronica and Leonor Limon came to the United States years apart, but with similar ideas of what their new life would be. I think I came with a different image in my head of what the U.S. was, kind of like the movies, you know, and like um, Home Alone to the big houses with the um, pointy roofs. When I came here, it was tough. I didn't know any English. I didn't know anybody. Veronica owns El Chamoy in South Sioux City. She was the last of her siblings to immigrate to the United States, not reuniting with her family until she was 12. I had no no parent to guide me so everyone wanted to teach me something new something you know you have to do this you have to do that and and it was kind of it was kind of tough my mom had always provided that enough for us to have everything but then i was missing that part of my mom being there it made me realize that as a mom, that's not where I wanted to be, but then I also wanted to have a business. I also wanted to be my own boss. Um, and I also wanted a, a, a business, a workplace where it would provide enough. The Limon sisters watched their mom work double shifts in the restaurant business. Because of that, providing enough is something they say they've always strived for. Growing up, I always used to say, I want to have my own restaurant. I want to have my own business because I want my parents to be able to have a good life too, you know. I want them to one day not to work as much, and I want them to be able to say, you know, my kids, they're good kids. We did good. Leonor owns Mi Rancherita, a block away from her sister's restaurant. My parents, you know, they work, they work really hard, 
My mom, she has always worked so hard since I could remember. And now being a business owner, having my family work, work in the same place where we work is just, I can't describe the worst. Finding the right words was one challenge the Limon sisters learned to overcome. When I was growing up, one of the main problems was, you know, learning the, the language. A lot of kids used to make fun of me. Back then, it used to make me so angry, you know. It actually helped me, you know. It helped me tell myself, you know what, you have to learn the language. You have to be able to learn. Learning the language was just the beginning. We started because we wanted something better for our kids, for ourselves. Whether it's dinner at Leonor's or a snack at Veronica's, the Limon sisters say they are thankful for the Siouxlanders that have rallied behind them, contributing to their success. It makes me feel excited that my girls see up to me and, and my husband and be like if they were able to do something with all the challenges they had in life, why can't we? Veronica and Leonor say their childhood was far from easy, but say the obstacles they faced continue to help them achieve their dreams. Coming up next, he's originally from Peru, but now calls Sioux Falls home. How an artist is showing support for local news by drawing caricatures of our anchors and meteorologists. We'll be right back.